हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एक्सेल ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज पार्ट टू दोस्तों आशा करता हूँ कि आपको पिछला वीडियो काफ़ी ज़्यादा पसंद आया होगा अगर आप लोगों ने उस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो को चेकआउट नहीं किया है यू कैन चेक आउट दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर आई बटन तो दोस्तों इस वीडियो में मैंने इन सारे फार्मूलाज के बारे में बात किया है अगर आप लोगों को एक पर्टिकुलर फार्मूला को चेकआउट करना है सो इन टू दी डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई हैव मैंशन द टाइम स्टैम्प अलॉन्ग विद दैट पर्टिकुलर फार्मूला लेट्स क्विकली मूव टू माई स्क्रीन एंड लेट्स सी दी वर्किंग ऑफ ऑल दोज फार्मूलाज so friends let's let us quickly move to the very first function so let us i want to know what is the today's date and time so i'll just simply use the now formula is equal to now and that would provide me aaj ka date or aaj ka time let us quickly move to the other functionality and that is using the r function so h o u r so this will return the r value from this particular time and i'll return the and you can see it is returning me 18 so uh, the time now is 1846 and it is returning me 18 if i'm using the r functionality so what if i want to know the minute value so it's quite simple i'll just write minute and i'll return the and it is returning me 46 so 46 is the minute part from this particular time value similarly if i want to know the second uh, i'll just write is equal to second and i'll just select the date and it is returning me 53 so right now the time is 1846 and 53 seconds 18 hours 46 minutes and 53 seconds so this is how simple it is to use this kind of small functionalities but it comes out handy a lot of many times friends let us quickly move to the other functionality and that is the time functionality what if i want to make a proper time so let's say in one column i have the hour values here in the second column i have the minute values here and in the third column i have the seconds value here so ek bahut sara data hamare paas maujood hai in teenon rows mein and i want in column n i want to calculate the time or let let's say i just want to write the time so 18 colon 47 colon 48 mujhe lana hai in the form of time so for that particular thing the functionality is is equal to time and then first we'll have to mention the hour and then i will have to mention the minute so it is giving me hints here you can see and then at the last i'll have to mention the seconds and i'll hit enter and you can see it is giving me 6:48 pm so this is sim how simple and accurate these formulas are to use in similarly what if i have the date column so pehla column mein i have the date value this second column i have the month value and in the third column i have the year value so let us take an example here so what is the date today so today is 18 of the february month so what is the month and that is 02 similarly what is the year so right now it's 2022 so i'll just write and i want i have multiple dates such such as this so aise hi bahut sare rows mein dates maujood hain dusre alag alag tarikon ke so main just ek aur examples le leta hu for simplicity aur बहुत ही ज्यादा क्लैरिटी प्रोवाइड कर सकता है लास्ट एग्जाम्पल जस्ट इंटर इयर सो दिस विल बी सिक्स मंथ एंड दिस विल बी ट्वेल्थ ऑफ द मंथ एंड फॉर दैट आई जस्ट द फॉर्मूला इज एक्जैक्टली द सेम सो आई जस्ट राइट दी डेट फर्स्ट आई सेलेक्ट दी इयर वैल्यू एंड देन आई लेव टू सेलेक्ट दी मंथ वैल्यू एंड देन एट द लास्ट आई लेव सेलेक्ट टू डे वैल्यू एंड आई लेट एंटर एंड यू कैन सी ये डेट बना के दे चुका हमें एंड दिस इज क्वाइट सिंपल एंड क्वाइट इफेक्टिव आप लोग देख सकते हो मैं इसे जस्ट ट्रैक कर दूंगा एंड इट वर्क लाइक वाइज फॉर ऑल दी अदर रोज एज वेल सो दिस इज एज सिंपल एज दिस let us quickly move to the other formula and that is the week day function so uh, saturday to to sunday is counted as a week in microsoft excel and saturday is provided the value as seventh day of the week and sunday is provided the value of the first day of the week so we'll we'll be calculating what is the week day value so aaj friday hai so it should give us as 6 because kal saturday hai so it should give To, for tomorrow's date it should give as 7 so i'll just run this formula for this week and it is giving me as 6 i'll just drag this to the very last and you can see it is giving me the week the value for rest of all the other dates as well 
now what if i want to know the week number so in a year uh, 52 weeks hote hain par mujhe janna hai ki ye particular date kis week number value of that year mein lie kar raha tha so for that i have this particular function here that is week num and i'll just have to select the date and i'll let enter and it is giving me an error value that is because the spelling of the formula is wrong as and you can see it is showing me this particular value so 8 right now we are in the 8th week of the year so that is how it is calculated so this is two days uh date so so this was the date functionality this was the week uh week day functionality and the right now we discuss the week num functionality let us move to the other functionalities also and that is year fraction this is bit of interesting uh for me also because i just learned it uh, quite some days back so what if there is a start date and a end date so uh, i'll just consider this particular date as the start date and i'll consider this 2022 as the end date because end matlab last month matlab end wala jo date hoga wo bada hoga as compared to the start date so i'll just hit enter and you can see it is giving me uh, the year value in fraction so in dono dates mein 1.68 years well uh, pass ho chuke hain so the difference between these two dates is 1.68 years so what if i want to calculate the date of birth of let's say i have a employees database in my uh, in my company and i want to calculate uh, the i want to have a column jisme i want to have the number of years or what is the age of all the employees for that so for that uh, this particular function would be handy in that particular case i'll just write a year frac and i'll just provide the date of birth of the employee and in at the end it i'll just give a today value so uh let's say if i'll just run this for now mm, year frac and the start date i'll just take at this and the end date I, for that i'll write today so by today we get the today's date and you can see 0.73 years have been passed between this and this date and if you see this will make a sense because this is may date or ye aaj ka date hai jo ki hai february ka date so 0.75 a uh, percentage of years have been passed between these between these two particular dates see some more interesting uh, functionalities which is present for date and time part and the next one is e date this is kind of quite of bit of complex so pehli dafa mein ye kafi zyada mushkil lag sakta hai aapko so but uh, it is quite simple so first i'll have to provide the start date so let's say uh, i'll just take today's date as the start date for now and i'll just write today and then how many months uh, do i want to go ahead from now let's say i want to go 6 months from now and i'll let enter and it is giving me an absurd value and this is because this is general form of the date functionality or say hame convert karna hoga into the normal date function or aap dekh sakte ho ki 1808 2022 it has given me the value so what e date does is e date se ek particular date hai aur what if i want to go ahead to 5 months 6 months or let's say 10 12 24 months from this particular date which i have right now so for that we'll be using the is equal to e date function and that is how it works so आज हमारा फेब्रुअरी मंथ है दैट इज एटीन ऑफ फेब्रुअरी एंड इफ वी अप्लाई सिक्स मंथ्स वैल्यू इज यू कैन सी इट इज शोइंग मी एज मंथ्स सो इट विल मूव अहेड सिक्स मंथ्स सो फेब्रुअरी टू मार्च अप्रैल मे जून जुलाई अगस्त एंड इट इज गिविंग मी दी अगस्त डेट सो दिस इज हाउ दी ई डेट फंक्शनैलिटी इज यूज सिमिलरली एक है होता है और एक डिफरेंट सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटी है दैट इज ई ओ मंथ and that is uh, the kind of logic is kind of same so first i'll have to provide the start date i'll just provide this particular date and number of months we want to go ahead so uh, let's say i want to go 7 months from now and this is come giving me again an absurd value i'll just convert this to a short date and you can see it showed me or uh, 31st of whatever is it is coming up so this is how the formula works out 
so it will just not limit it to 12 or anything such like that we can give as many bigger value we want so let's say i want to move ahead 23 months from now so for that i'm log 23 lick sakte and then i'll hit enter and you can see it moved 23 months from now and you will if you'll see this date may or this particular date may there is a difference of 23 months so that is how e date and eo month function is calculated that ye different different formulas aap bahut hi alag alag jagahon mein istemal karoge aur this will help you in lot of use cases jo hum encounter karte hain hamare excel formulas ke dauran excel problem solving ke dauran so friends agar aapko ye video useful laga ho to is video ko zarur like kar dijiyega mere channel ko bhi zarur subscribe kar dijiyega milte hain next video mein with more and more information on excel tab tak ke liye thank you and bye